A lot has been written about how the chicken sandwich wars are what has saved QSR restaurants during the pandemic. Sure, the numbers of fried chicken sandwiches that have been sold are ginormous. And yes, just about every chain has jumped on the bandwagon and added the sandwich to their menus. And as we reported last week, Popeye's, based on the success of its best-selling chicken sandwich, is adding a fried fish sandwich to its menu. But the real winner during the pandemic is actually pizza. Since the pandemic began, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, and Little Caesars, the four chains that control 43% of the $44 billion U.S. dollar pizza market, according to Technomic, did very well. Domino's and Papa John's grew about 12%, and frozen pizza in supermarkets grew by 21%, according to Nielsen. As we read headlines that soup markets and delivery services are hiring and almost 70,000 restaurants were closed permanently, what we did not hear much about was that Domino's hired an additional 30,000 workers or that in the past nine months or so, more than 2,000 new pizzerias opened. Truth be told, I love pizza. Of course I do. I grew up in an Italian neighborhood in New Jersey, and my favorite pizza still comes from the Star Tavern in Orange, New Jersey. Business-wise, pizza is good business, but there is a secret weapon that is key to success during the pandemic. That I'll share in just a minute or so. Pizza is profitable. Consider the ingredients, flour, yeast, water, sauce, cheese, and toppings. None of these are expensive. On a medium pizza, the cheese is the most expensive ingredient at about two bucks for a high quality mozzarella. The dough adds about 25 cents, and the sauce, 35 cents. That adds up to about $2.60 for a basic pizza that could be sold for at least twice that amount, and typically sells for much more. And if you sell it by the slice, wow. True, this doesn't include labor, rent, utilities, and other expenses, but you can see how selling pizza can be a good business. The average independent pizzeria shows a profit of around 20%. Soup markets show about 1.5%. Compare it to a fried chicken sandwich that serves only one person versus a pizza which could serve two or three people, where the product cost is around 50 to 75 cents for the chicken, depending on if it's a breast or thigh meat, 50 to 75 cents for the bun, depending on the type of bun, condiments, lettuce, tomatoes, add another 50 cents, and the sandwich cost is about two bucks. Popeye's chicken sandwich costs about $3.99 retail, depending on where you live in the country. The secret weapon in the food wars is that pizza has always had takeout and delivery in its DNA. Other restaurants typically had to rely on in-store, sit-down businesses, and had to pivot quickly to pick up or have third-party delivery services, which take a huge percentage from the bottom line. Pizza is poised to continue its growth for a number of reasons. It's endless varieties of toppings and combinations, the type of crust, the thickness, its nutritional profile. And yes, pizza is healthy depending on what you put on top and its ability to please and serve the whole family reasonably and its affordability. Watch the pizza wars.